Welcome to St. Peter's, one of a partnership of Lancaster Lutherans Together congregations here in Lancaster, Ohio. I'm Pastor Leslie, joining with my colleagues for the month of December to tell stories from the Bible that show why Jesus came to us. Advent is a season in the church year where we wait for Jesus to be born in our hearts, carried in our lives. And right now, this whole year has uh, felt like an advent. We wait together, don't we, during a pandemic as we shelter in place. Well, let's start with two questions today. Have you ever seen God turn someone's life completely around so that that person changed in order to follow Jesus? And in this time of waiting, how has Jesus been like a lifeline for you? A rope that you can hold on to no matter what? Today's story is taken from the book of Joshua. A long time ago, after God gave his love promises to his people, one red rope saved the lives of a girl and her family. The girl's name was Rahab, and she lived in the town of Jericho, where no one worshipped God. After escaping from Egypt, the Hebrew slaves had been wandering in the wilderness for a long, long time, but God told them that they would soon enter the promised land, and two of the men went ahead of their people to take a look, to scout for a way into their new home. They walked right through the gate of Jericho and knocked on the door of a house. Rahab let them in. But someone saw these strangers slip into Rahab's house, and they told the king, and the king sent soldiers. And then quickly, Rahab hid the two men up on the roof under piles of straw, so the soldiers didn't find them. And when Rahab pulled the blanket of straw off of them, she whispered what was beating in her heart. Your one God works real miracles. I believe in your God, but even more, I want to live for him. For you see, God can reveal God's self and God's huge, uncontainable love wherever, whenever, to whomever. High Jericho walls and hard hearts can't stop his love from coming to us. Our sin can't stop his love. Because Rahab trusted in God and longed to live in God's love, the two men promised, if you hang a red rope from your window, you and your family will be safe when our army returns. And when the soldiers returned to take the city of Jericho, Rahab and her family were saved, and they joined the Hebrew people. Rahab married a man named Solomon, and they had a baby boy. And generations later, King David was born from this family. And many generations later was born Jesus, our great king. Jesus, who gives himself to you like a red rope, whispers, no matter what you've done, no matter what fears you're facing, hold on. I love you, and I've got hold of you. Have you noticed there are Christmas presents everywhere, tied up with red ribbons, little red ropes? They all tie our hearts to Jesus, the greatest the grandest gift of all. Let's pray. Oh, Lord Jesus, we give you thanks for your love that pursues us, finds us, and holds us closely all of our days. Amen. <laughs> 